Step five, own your feelings. Now, as you heard me say in the beginning of this course, where I said that it doesn't matter what your feelings are, whether you understand them, whether somebody else doesn't understand them, it doesn't matter. They are yours. No one else created them. You created them based on your interpretation. Now, a lot of people think about some feelings as negative feelings. Now, I'm here to tell you that there are no bad feelings. You have uncomfortable feelings and you have comfortable feelings, but you don't have any bad feelings because those feelings that you feel that make you uncomfortable are the ones that you need to pay most the most attention to because they are like these little bits of information that tell you when you are on course or off course so think about it this way intuition is an uncomfortable feeling sometimes it's uncomfortable not always but most of the time your intuition is saying to you oh i don't think you should do that or oh this person's not safe or where you're going is not safe this place is not safe so intuition is very tied to what you what people would want to put under the bracket of um negative feelings but intuition can also be a good feeling because if you think about when things feel right when you feel at ease when you feel peace that could also be your intuition talking to you so it's very important for you to look at all feelings as okay it's just that the uncomfortable ones are the ones that are going pay attention something's not right here you the decision you're making is not good for you this person is not right for you um and it will also say to you when you're doing something when when maybe you're accepting a job that's not in line with your values um when there's something wrong with your health so your uncomfortable feelings are your it's, it's almost like your own little messenger center that says to you i want you to stop I want you to think about this before you act because something is not quite right here so i want you to start really owning your feelings all of them the good the bad and the ugly because they're all yours and they're there for a reason the good feelings they are there for you to enjoy to enjoy your life to feel great because think about it this way if you didn't have good feelings you first of all wouldn't know what the bad feelings are and if you didn't have bad feelings and i'm just saying bad meaning uncomfortable feelings the feelings that make you feel uncomfortable if you didn't have them you wouldn't know what feels good and so the feelings that make you feel good are for you to enjoy life because there's no way we could enjoy our life if we didn't have those feelings. You know, we would just be a goldfish swimming around in a goldfish bowl because it would just be the same thing every day, every moment. So own your feelings. And there's that saying, you know, you can't change what you don't own. And so if you have a lot of uncomfortable feelings that make you feel unhappy, make you feel unsettled, then own that validate it and do something about it pay attention to it so that you can make the changes that you want to make it it also helps you to know when you've when you have some healing where you haven't resolved some pain that you've had in the past um and i just want to give you a little bit of a example here um or a little bit of a life story and i remember when i had fibromyalgia many many years ago and a lot of people didn't know what fibromyalgia was but i went and saw this specialist and he was very ahead of his time and after consultation he looked at me and he said to me that his belief was that fibromyalgia was caused by unresolved emotional issues and i said to him what do you mean are you saying that i created this pain myself i made myself ill and he said to me you know and and he said yes he said in all his research he had discovered that the mind body connection and you know whatever goes on in our minds and all the pain and all the trauma that we've experienced that when we haven't resolved that when we haven't healed from that it actually creates us or it makes us to become ill 
Now, in the next couple of steps, I'm just going to explain to you a little bit more about that and how the chemicals affect your body and how your emotions can make you ill. But what I'm saying is, is that I hadn't made that connection until then. I knew I felt bad and I knew that I suppressed a lot of things and I didn't know how to fix it. And with this doctor, you know, he never told me how to fix it, but he just told me what the problem was. And I remember walking away from that consultation feeling really angry. And I was like, how dare he? How does he know um, anything about me? And he didn't tell me how to fix this. And, and he's telling me that my illness is all in my mind. And now obviously I understand that, that it was because what happened after that was I then consulted with a second person and without them knowing about the the doctor and, and what the doctor had said, this person said exactly the same thing. I had just explained to him about my symptoms, what was going on. And he came back to me and he said to me, the body never lies. He says, your symptoms tell me that you have unresolved emotional issues. And fortunately, this was at the same time that I had just been introduced to emotional intelligence. So when I then went on to, to study emotional intelligence, and realizing that all your beliefs are housed in your mind and the trauma that is housed in the mind, I then went on to study more about the mind and mind power. But I also went on to study a subject called PNI, which is psychoneuroimmunology, which is all about how your psychological state, your mind and your emotions, how that affects your immune system and how you become ill when you are not able to heal from what has happened in the past so owning your feelings and knowing how important they are and when you understand the importance of those feelings that feel bad is so empowering i can't tell you how empowering that is because it's your own body telling you that there's something wrong something that you need to heal, something that you need to pay attention to so that you can resolve that and you can move on and you can make more space for the good feelings. Because the more stuff you get rid of, the more pain um, that you are able to heal from, the more you are open up to experiencing good feelings, good emotions and new things in life and that's when your life starts changing profoundly. But you have to own it first. So you've got to own your feelings, the good, the bad and the ugly. So please make sure you do the activity. And once you're done, come back to step six.